Okay, y'all, here we go again. We're back. Let's see if we can get, an, I guess, some more work done. We're going to continue on our electrical. We've got the windows sealed up, trim in, the door's done. Storm door in, trimmed up, sealed in. So we're going to get back to this electrical work. Y'all keep watching. Let's get to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it for today. Uh, I got two more sticks to use straight up. I need to get one more stick for down there. I have one more, but I needed two more. So I gotta get one more and then I'll finish that up. I'm gonna cut it down there to kind of split the difference and make it look a little more uniform. So that's the plan, but that's it for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey y'all, we are dog sitting. My dad's house had a flood on move-in day. And we already had a playpen, as we call it, set up for our beloved beast, Blue. But the day he died, there was a flood, and now we've got my dad's two dogs here. But this bird dog, Tana, that one right there, has become a mole hunter since moving to Texas. And this fence line over there is not ours. Over here is ours used to look like that and then she made it look like this as you can see she made it to the bottom and I now need to find a way to keep her from digging before a the fence falls over because you can see the end of the fence there when the neighbor's cows start leaning on the fence and B to keep her from going all the way through. We already had this temporary dog fencing which is what I'm going to use on this side. We left it tall and wrapped it to the bottom and they haven't bothered it and we had this old wood. But on that side I had cut it off. So I have the top piece from where I cut it. I had cut all of this off already and I'm gonna to try to use that piece and then down here we just have it staked to the ground with some two by fours. So let me get started. That one's Jules and Tana. All right, y'all, digger. Start digging up shade right here. As you can see, she's got a few spots going on. As soon as I finished over here, she came to see. I had just enough, about 10 feet shy to get to the corner, but so far she hasn't really bothered with that. Just enough of that piece, it's about six inches wide. I put these old foundation frame boards on top of it. We'll see how well it holds up. Here you go. Nana, with what I've got, dog hole fence digger repair using tractor supply dog fence scraps, some scrap wood, and all the different diggery and shovely tools I could find, and the eight pound tamper. Thanks for watching. I'll let you know shortly if it works or doesn't work. We might be back. All right, y'all, here we go again. Let's see if we can get some work done. I was hoping I could get this circuit done this week, but it ain't looking promising. Man, I got me another piece of unit strut to go out of here on this end. So I think we're gonna be able to get, get the unit strut hung, but I don't think we're gonna be able to finish the circuit. We'll see, I got too many other things going on right now. That's okay, we're gonna keep chugging along, get done what we can get done. All right, y'all, keep watching, and we're gonna get back to work. All right, y'all, there we go. That's it for tonight. I got the center rail hung. 
Now we're gonna come back maybe tomorrow. We'll see if I have time tomorrow. I don't know. Don't know if I'll get it done this weekend, but now we're gonna come back and kind of center the rail, straighten it all up, grind all the bolts off, get it all tight and in place. And then we'll be ready to run conduit and lights. Thanks for watching. We'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, good morning. Morning, I'm back. Nana's joining me today. We got another camera. So we'll see how this one works out compared to the one we've been using. This is a GoPro 10. We've been using a GoPro 7. So we'll see, hopefully it's better. Yard we'll find work out. day. Nana's gonna be doing some yard work and I'm gonna be still working on my lights up here. Hopefully we can get this stuff done today. All right, y'all keep watching and we're gonna get back to work. All right, y'all, I need to do some yard work. I need to empty out my wagon of trash. Need to clean up the snake pit over here of campery stuff. Pops is in there working. Got a lot to do. So let's get her started. Okay y'all, finally, finally got the rail in for the lights. Looks pretty good, I think. All the way down, nice and straight, level this way. So now I've got to prep the brackets, the mounting brackets for the light fixtures. And to do that, I've got to drill out the hole in the center of the brackets for the quarter inch drill bit. And then we'll be ready to hang the lights up. Once I get all the lights situated where I want them, We'll come back and start on the conduit. All right, y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. All right, y'all, here we go. That's it, that's all I'm doing today. Got the fixtures in, and the rail in, the fixtures in, all that stuff is up, secure. Now I gotta put in the conduits and the outlet boxes that are going up there. And I gotta get some more conduit and I've gotta get some more outlet boxes because we decided that we wanted to add some extra outlets up there. So I didn't have enough boxes. So we gotta get some more boxes and a couple more sticks of conduit and then we'll be ready to run the electrical, I do believe. All right, thanks for watching. See you later. Hey y'all, it is Saturday, the day before Mother's Day. I am loading the trailer cart, the lawnmower cart back up to trim some vines. It's like 91 degrees, super sticky. We spent the morning helping some sweet church people clean up a little old lady's house um, for a Barnabas project. Now I'm gonna do some minor tree vine cleanup. Y'all keep watching. Okay, so today I'm cleaning up these vines that are already climbing back up the tree, but you don't want to disturb the dewberries. See, the dewberries are just starting to bloom up. They're ripen. Any day now, maybe good enough to eat. I'm just gonna trim this stuff down, keep this tree under control. Hey y'all, good afternoon. It's afternoon today. And uh, we were spent this morning doing some work for some elderly people at church. So this afternoon, I'm getting back at it. I'm gonna work on this electrical. We picked up some more conduit and electrical boxes that I needed to add a couple of outlets along this rail. So you guys keep watching, let's get back to work.
All right, y'all. Done. Cleaned up about eight or 10 or 12 trees, trim some pecan branches in my mowing path so I don't keep hitting my head over there. Tired, it's hot. I think I'm gonna take an early shower and relax. Pops and I have some other things. He's still finishing lighting up there and outlets for the last side of the carport. I'm just hot and I'm tired. Had my first dewberry of the season. Yummy, hope I can keep the deers out of them. Talk to y'all later. Okay, y'all, there you go. That's it for today. That's all we got. Kind of got a little bit run, but uh, you know, maybe a third of the way done. So, well, the conduit obviously, we didn't run the wiring and the circuits, but we're getting there. So, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it, well, you can give us a thumbs down. Either way, we understand not every video is for every viewer, and we're okay with that. But either way, leave us some comments, good comments, bad comments, and different comments. And not foul comments. This is a family channel. I have to throw those things out. Check out our social media, at Living Cooper, on Pinterest, Twitter, and Instagram. As well as check out our blog over at livingcooper.com. And lastly, and most importantly, is please subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified next time we upload. And check out our other videos. we got more property log videos. We got how-to videos, we got product reviews, check those out, and we'll see you guys next time. Ciao.